Welcome to the video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Phil and I just recently retired. I was a math teacher for a long time and now I'm going to spend the next 10 years traveling the world. So my first big adventure is to go to Annecy, France for three months. But uh, first I'm stopping here in Geneva. So I'm in Geneva right now and then I'm going to be spending the next three days in the Interlaken region of Switzerland and then I'll head to Annecy for the next three months. But I flew all the way from Salt Lake City to Geneva. I left Salt Lake City at 5.30 p.m. yesterday and I got into Geneva at 4.30 p.m. today. So it's been a very long day, but definitely worth it. I'm very excited about my adventures and I'm going to be documenting them, posting videos, hopefully like once a week. So hopefully you'll join me. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This place got high marks, so let's try it. Well, that place was awesome. The chicken was seasoned so well, it was really flavorful, and the sauce they had for it was also really flavorful. I ended up dipping the fries in the sauce and didn't even use ketchup because it was so good. So chicken fries and salad, so cheap for Geneva. That was like 25 Swiss francs for the meal and the beer, which comes out to about $30. So. That's about as cheap as you get in Geneva, but it was delicious. Highly recommend it. Chez Ma Cuisine. Good morning. Getting ready to take the train from Geneva to Interlaken. By the way, I'm taking all trains and planes while I'm here in Europe, no car. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Love. Had a little trouble with the train, but I figured it out. Now I'm gonna take the Eiger Express up to Jungfrau. Now I'm going to head up to the Jungfrau Yoke. Fortunately, I have a reservation. Paid extra 10 francs for that, so should get on fast. There's a viewpoint stuff at Eismeer, the glacier down there. Very cool. Need it to Europe's highest train station. Jungfrau. Heading into the ice pounds. All oh, this is ice. Very cold in here. Don't come in a t-shirt. So that ice palace was just awesome. The reality of everything here though is it's very, very crowded. I would, I'm here on a Wednesday in September and it's super crowded. I can imagine what it's like in the summer on a weekend. If you're gonna do it on a summer weekend or even in the summer at all, I would come very early just to meet the crowds. Guys 
are insane. I would never do this. It looks like it would be fun, but I'd be terrified. But they probably have the best view in the world right there. It's the town I'm staying in, Wildersville. So quaint. I love these Swiss houses. They're so cool. This is my Airbnb. This is part of the hotel. Baron. Never had a bathroom like this before. It's all one little unit, the shower, the toilet, everything. So it looks like a bathroom for an RV, but it'll do. And the coolest thing about this room is it has a little terrace. I'm gonna hit my head. How awesome is that? Let me tell you about my day. I spent about six hours going from Geneva to the top of Jungfrau Yoke. I did mess up the trains a little bit, so about 30 minutes of that was my fault for messing up the trains. But I had to take five different trains. I had to go from Geneva to Bern, Bern to Spies, Spies to Interlaken Ost, and then Interlaken Ost to Grindelwald. And then from Grindelwald is where I got the Eiger Express gondola. And then I had to take that train uh, for, to get up to the Jung, Jungfrau Yoke. So lots of trains plus a gondola, took about six hours, but it was well worth it. Had a very enjoyable day, but now I'm here in Interlaken for the next three days. Well, two more after this. So I'm very excited. And I'm going to go try to find something to eat, but also there's a brewery nearby, so I might check that out as well. Stopped at this place, Rugenblau, to have a beer, and it is really good. They brew their own beer. Actually, the brewery's over there, I'll show it to you. I know they had microbrews in Switzerland, but here we go. Good morning. This morning I'm headed to Lauterbrunnen to see the top of the Schilthorn and have James Bond breakfast buffet. So it should be very interesting. They apparently filmed a James Bond film up there, so it should be pretty cool. to the top of the Schilthorn. The view up here is incroyable. Incredible. James Bond movie, Honor Majesty's Secret Service, which came out in the early 70s, was filmed here as well. It's a whole James Bond theme going on up here. I'm gonna have breakfast right there in this 360 degree view restaurant. James Bond Buffet, it's called. Awesome buffet. How cool is this? I'm having a 007 breakfast. Revolving restaurant, top of the shelter. This is amazing. That right there is beer. And that little walkway going around the side is called the Beer Thrill Walk, so I'm going to try that later. It was delicious. I ate three plates worth of stuff. So hopefully I got my money's worth. Well, that brunch was really good. The food was pretty good. I mean, it's buffet food, but you're paying for the view and for the revolving around and seeing this view, so it's definitely worth it. Cost me 37 Swiss francs, which I guess is around 
$45. So I think it's worth it. Now I'm gonna go out here and see what I can see. beautiful this is like utah on steroids instead of taking the cable car down to murin i decided to hike it the guy on the cable car from the top of Shiltorn to birg said that it's an amazing hike and he also said i should hike down to this little lake down here so i'm gonna check that out as well but so far he's not wrong i mean this is beautiful and it's a beautiful day so very excited this is the lake he told me to go to, so I'm going down there. I just, is, this is just incredible. Now, does this right here say Switzerland or what? That's what I think of when I think of Switzerland. I guess this lake is called Glausivli. Glausivli. You're trying to go out on that ridge. Let's see if I can get there. It's out of the way from the trail to Murin, but I think I can do it. I have to Murin, but I'm going to take a detour to Mottstadt, which is that way. So I want to go on that ridge. Let's give it a shot. I'm guessing. Rotstock Hut is down there, but I want to go out here onto this ridge. I've been eyeing this since we were coming down off the uh, Schilthorn Tram. I'm like, I got to go out there. So this will get me to Murin though. So it's an hour and 50 minutes. Hopefully I can cut that down a little bit because I'm speedy. Although this trail over here was very steep downhill. It took me a long time, but here I am. Hear those cowbells? Now I know I'm in Switzerland. And if it's one thing we need, it's more cowbell. This is incredible. How is this not the most popular viewpoint in all of Switzerland? I don't get it. I am literally the only one up here. That's what makes it so special. It's just me with all of this. I'm going all the way around. This is a 360 degree view here. Spectacular. Wow. There's Birg where I started this hike. One of the most spectacular hikes I've ever been on, and I've been on thousands of hikes. So that's saying a lot. Want a house that's nice and quiet and private? Then this is the house for you right there. I don't think it gets any more private or quiet than that. <laughs> no neighbors for miles. I don't even know how you get there. Still not the Murin left yet. It's been about three hours. It was only supposed to take about an hour, but I really did take the long way. Definitely Murin. What a great little town. No cars allowed here except service vehicles and construction vehicles. But other than that, no cars, just people. Look at this.
not a ton to do in Almond Mule, although the views are spectacular. But if you got kids, there's a huge playground. So that'd be good for kids. And there's also a restaurant up here, which I'm not gonna try because it's probably really expensive. But I think it was worth coming up here. It was seven francs round trip on the funicular. So I think that was too terrible. Very quaint little town, although very touristy right now. The tram down from here into Gimmelwald. Now I'm gonna get me some of this. This Schwarzmunk beer is supposed to be really good. Gimmelwald, another quaint Swiss town. A lot of great things about this beer, so let's see. Some job right there. I would not want that job. Gimmelwald's very similar to Murin. No cars in the town except service vehicles, and it's a quaint little town, but they have the really good beer here, so got to give it to Gimmelwald over Murin, even though Murin was beautiful too. Good morning. This morning I'm taking a hike from Wildersville to Lauterbrunnen. Could take the train, but this hike's supposed to be beautiful. So this hike's about five five and a half miles and then after that I'm gonna do hike through the louder Brunnen area see all the waterfalls and everything supposed to be amazingly beautiful so can't wait to see it one of the really cool things about Switzerland is they have these every so often these you can just fill up your water bottle right there it's clean drinking water so there's a real hiking and biking culture here which I love I would have been taking if I had taken the train, but I decided to hike instead. Looks like I'm about halfway in the village of Zweiluchinen. Love that name, Zweiluchinen. Well, I made it to Lauterbrunnen and it was about a little over six miles, so it'd be a little over two hours. I would not recommend doing it. It's just so much easier to take the train, and you don't see much more than you would if you took the train. So. right there, Trummelbachfall and Stabakfall. 67 falls. Let's see how many we can find. Well, there's one. I believe that's Stabakfell. That is so high. Right, seriously, how's this cow not in awe of what's behind him? Her. That is just amazing. There's an iconic shot. Any guess which country I'm in now? It's called Spisbach Fall. Apparently it was created by a landslide and all this used to be a landslide, now it's growing over. That's pretty interesting. Now this is an amazing view right here. Well, you gotta pay 14 Swiss francs to go to Tollenbachfeld and you take an elevator up to get to it, so hopefully it's worth it.
was definitely worth the 14 Swiss francs that it cost to get in there. One of the coolest waterfalls I've ever seen. All inside the mountain, except at the very end, comes out of the mountain. And it's all illuminated so you can see it all. Really, really amazing. I would definitely recommend this to anybody. The sounds of Switzerland. Another really high waterfall right here. Sparsely flowing though, but still pretty cool. This is Mühlenbach Fall. I walked like an extra mile and a half each way, so it's gonna be three miles round trip to see this, but it is worth it. This thing is huge, beautiful. So tall, 417 meters. That's over 1,300 feet. And the sign says this is the highest waterfall in Switzerland. I'm glad I came over here. So I hiked about 15 miles today. I'm exhausted. Just stopped at a place here in Lautubunen to get a beer and raclette, which is basically potatoes with cheese on it. I learned about it in French class, so I've always wanted to try it. So I'm going to try it right now. I'll show you what it looks like. It's raclette. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, so the raclette was good. It was like the cheese from fondue and then in it was potatoes and pickles and pickled onions. It was kind of weird, but I really liked it. The only problem was it took forever for me to get my order. Other people that came in way after me were getting their orders first, so I was getting very aggravated, but I finally said something and they finally came with my order, so it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I don't think I'd eat at that place again because I didn't appreciate their service, but other than that, I enjoyed it. The name of the place was Base Cafe, so, and it was, you know, not the greatest place. So I'm back in Fildersville now, heading back to the Airbnb. It's a great day, really enjoyed. Lauterbrunnen, I, I should be top on everyone's list if they're coming to this area, because that's where the iconic views are. So Lauterbrunnen is the place to be. Okay, so last night I had dinner at a Vietnamese restaurant. Well, it was actually an Asian restaurant, but I had Vietnamese food, it's called truly Asian. It was actually really good and not too expensive. So today is my last day in the Interlaken area. I haven't actually explored the city of Interlaken yet, so I'm going to do that. This is a great view. That's Interlaken down there. Don't be that guy. So there's a sign down by the funicular station that said viewpoint this way. And I was thinking it's just gonna be a set of stairs, but it was no joke. Two mile strenuous uphill climb to get here. So I either missed the turn for the viewpoint or I, or they tremendously undersold it. Well, this view would be spectacular if it wasn't so hazy it's actually not bad on this side but i don't think it was worth that climb i mean it was difficult this is from the viewing platform at harder coom this view is actually better than the one i hiked up to see and this is a lot easier to get to was pretty cool. I'd recommend it. it. Cost 34 francs 
if you don't have a discount. Then I wish I'd gotten the Swiss half fare pass because spending more than a couple days here, it's definitely worth it. You get discounts off everything. Everything's half price. It costs 140 francs, but I think it would have been worth it. I think I would have saved money with it. So hear the church bells in the background. the lamb burger at Des Alpes restaurant. Delicious! It was a lamb burger with brie cheese and pear chutney and onion confit and barbecue sauce and oh, so good. I'm coming back to Interlochen just to have that again. Delicious. If you ever in Interlochen, Des Alpes restaurant, the lamb burger, oh, so good. I wonder if there's a tree in the Grand Hotel. Well, my time in Interlaken has come to an end, unfortunately. The place is incredibly beautiful. I would definitely put this on everybody's bucket list. Especially that hike I did from Berg, Birg down to Murin. Um, and then also the, the trek through Lauterbrunnen. Those are both incredibly beautiful. One thing I will say about this area is very crowded. So you ready for that? And it's also very expensive. Especially the food, you can't really get out of paying under like $40 for a meal, even if it's like a burger and fries. So, you ready for that too? It's very expensive, so put that in your budget. Anyway, I will be back here in about six weeks with my brother and my niece, so I'm looking forward to that. Now I'm headed off to Annecy.